Before embarking on this enlightening journey, take a moment to indulge in a delightful cookie and a steaming cup of tea. Find a comfortable seat, allowing yourself to immerse fully in the tranquility of this video. As the Buddha once wisely imparted, one shall not be penalized for harboring anger, rather. It is through anger that one faces repercussions. But how does one achieve such inner tranquility amidst life's adversities? In timeless wisdom, we delve into a lesson that encourages us to maintain composure despite external challenges. Join us as we explore the profound teachings of Buddhism and embark on a journey toward the principle of inner serenity. Principle 1 Listening More, Speaking Less Our inaugural lesson delves deep into the transformative power of listening. It's not merely about hearing words but about truly understanding their essence. As Buddha beautifully articulated, to understand everything is to forgive everything, highlighting the profound connection between understanding and compassion. When we prioritize listening over speaking, we embark on a journey of greater empathy and comprehension. Actively engaging with the world around us allows us to connect deeply with the emotions, thoughts, and experiences of others. This practice weaves a bond of understanding that transcends mere words, opening our hearts to the intricate tapestries of human experience. Moreover, listening more than we speak doesn't diminish our voice. Instead, it enhances the quality of our interactions. Our words become more thoughtful, informed, and resonant, emanating from a place of deep understanding. This art of listening extends beyond personal conversations to encompass listening to nature, silence, and the unspoken words of those who may not have a voice. By embracing the practice of listening twice as much as we speak, we unlock a universe of understanding. We learn to perceive the unspoken, empathize with the unheard, and connect with the unseen. This leads to deeper connections not only with others but also with ourselves. Through profound listening, we begin to unravel the intricacies of life, the subtleties of human emotion, and the profound truths that govern our existence. As we listen, we grow in understanding, compassion, and wisdom, enriching our journey through life. This journey of listening cultivates a broader perspective, offering a panorama of diverse viewpoints and experiences. It enriches not only our understanding of the world, but also fosters a sense of inner peace and wisdom within us. As we immerse ourselves in the art of listening, we develop the ability to perceive the unspoken nuances of life. We become attuned to the whispers of nature, the silent struggles of those around us, and the deeper currents that shape our interactions. In this attunement, we discover a profound interconnectedness with the world and with each other. Listening twice as much as we speak is not merely a passive act, it is an active practice that transforms both ourselves and the world around us. Principle 2. Do not let the opinions and behaviors of others dictate your life. Do not allow the comments and attitudes of others to dictate the course of your life. Picture your life as a singular journey, akin to an adventurous hike through a magnificent forest. Along this path, you encounter individuals with their perspectives and viewpoints, much like distinct signposts or diverging trails in the woods. The Venerable Buddha, renowned for his profound wisdom, once imparted this guidance do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment, what does this mean? It urges you to focus on the present, akin to attentively following the trail while hiking. The essence of this teaching lies in forging your path on life's journey without being swayed by the opinions and judgments of others. While it's natural to consider advice, it's paramount to recognize that your journey is uniquely yours to navigate. Just as you wouldn't allow someone else to choose your hiking route, don't relinquish control of your life's direction to external influences. This lesson encourages you to listen to your inner compass, to remain steadfast in your values, and to make decisions aligned with your inner wisdom. By doing so, you retain sovereignty over your life's voyage, charting a course that resonates deeply with your authentic self, irrespective of external commentary. It's about honoring your path and traversing it with unwavering confidence and authenticity. In essence, embrace the autonomy to follow your own heart and intuition, embracing the richness of your unique journey with courage and conviction. By embracing this principle, you affirm your autonomy and sovereignty over your own life's journey, 
recognizing that no one else can truly understand the intricacies of your path as you can. While it's natural to seek input and guidance from others, it's crucial to maintain a firm grasp on your values, desires, and aspirations. In a world filled with diverse opinions and perspectives, it's easy to become overwhelmed or swayed by the comments and attitudes of others. However, true fulfillment and satisfaction come from staying true to yourself and honoring your truth, even in the face of external pressures or expectations. Just as each hiker must find their way through the forest, so too must you find your path in life. Trust in your inner wisdom and intuition, and have faith that you are capable of navigating any challenges or obstacles that may arise along the way. Ultimately, by staying true to yourself and charting your own course, you will find a sense of fulfillment, purpose, and joy that can only come from living authentically. So heed the wisdom of Buddha and focus your mind on the present moment, knowing that you alone have the power to shape your destiny. Principle 3. Prepare yourself to confront the worst. Life flows like a winding river, sometimes tranquil, other times tumultuous. The Buddha, in his profound wisdom, imparted a potent insight pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. What does this mean? It signifies that while life presents us with challenges and difficulties, we retain the power to choose our response. Imagine life as a series of waves, each representing a distinct situation or obstacle. Some waves are gentle ripples, akin to minor inconveniences, while others rise like towering giants, embodying significant setbacks or losses. Herein lies the essence acceptance of the worst doesn't entail expecting the worst at every turn or dwelling in perpetual fear. It means preparing ourselves for the inevitable trials that cross our path. Consider it akin to having a life jacket on a boat we hope we won't need it, but it's there as a precaution. When we are mentally prepared to embrace the worst, we become akin to that life jacket for our minds. We refuse to let fear of the unknown or failure dictate our actions. Acceptance becomes a shield, protecting us from the arrows of suffering. When life presents its challenges, as it invariably does, our acceptance acts as a buffer. While we may experience pain, we refrain from compounding it with unnecessary suffering by resisting or fixating on what has gone wrong. Acceptance isn't surrender, it's an acknowledgement of reality. It's recognizing that just as the river meanders, life has its ebbs and flows. Embracing this truth, we discover inner peace amidst adversity. In practical terms, readiness to accept the worst involves cultivating resilience and inner strength. It means understanding that setbacks are inherent to the journey and can foster growth and wisdom. It entails facing life's trials with equanimity, knowing that we possess the capacity to navigate even the roughest waters. By embracing this readiness, we not only find tranquility amidst adversity but also unveil our resilience and potential for growth. Principle 4. Do not fear failure, for it is the pathway to advancement. The revered sage, Buddha, imparted timeless wisdom each morning. We are born anew what we do today is what matters most. These profound words resonate deeply, reminding us of the perpetual opportunity for renewal and growth. Each day presents itself as a pristine canvas upon which we paint our actions, shaping our destiny. Life, akin to a staircase, comprises steps both smooth and arduous. Some days we tread with ease, while others challenge us with obstacles. Yet, it is amidst these trials and tribulations that our true metal is forged, like a novice learning to walk. We stumble and fall, but we rise with each falter, fortified in spirit and resolve. Failures and setbacks are not to be feared but embraced as indispensable guides on our journey of self-mastery. They serve as the chisels that sculpt our character, refining us into beings of greater wisdom and resilience. Just as a sculptor unveils the beauty within a rough block of stone, our missteps reveal the hidden potential within. Therefore, let us not shy away from risks or the unknown. Embrace failure as a natural companion on the path to enlightenment. For it is not the frequency of our falls that defines us, but our unwavering determination to rise, imbued with newfound strength and insight. This is the essence of personal growth, the pursuit of self-discovery, rooted in the courage to confront failure head-on. Embrace your mistakes, for they are the crucibles of transformation. 
With each stumble, we glean invaluable lessons, honing our faculties and deepening our understanding of the human experience. Just as a phoenix rises from the ashes, so too do we emerge from adversity, reborn and revitalized. It is through the crucible of failure that our true potential is revealed, our resilience tested, and our character fortified. As we navigate the labyrinth of life, let us not cower in the face of defeat, but stand tall, undeterred by the specter of failure. For it is in the crucible of adversity that our greatest triumphs are forged. In the grand tapestry of existence, every setback, every misstep, is but a thread in the fabric of our journey. Embrace the ebb and flow of life's vicissitudes, for therein lies the secret to unlocking our full potential. With each setback we grow stronger, more resilient, and more attuned to the rhythm of the universe. Principle 5. Simplify Things In Buddha, our venerable guide once imparted this timeless insight, teaching us that the path to enlightenment does not lie in the vast expanse of the heavens, but within the depths of our hearts. This lesson beckons us to embrace a life distilled to its essence, shedding the extraneous layers of complexity and distraction. Picture your life as a meticulously tended garden, abundant with myriad flowers. Yet not all blooms demand our attention. Some radiate vibrant splendor, offering joy and nourishment to the soul, while others languish, sapping our vitality. Simplicity then becomes akin to decluttering a crowded room. By relinquishing the superfluous, we create space for the essential elements to flourish. Simplifying our lives enables us to discern and prioritize our core values, fostering deeper connections and inner harmony. It is crucial to understand that living simply does not equate to complacency or settling for mediocrity. Rather, it entails discerning what resonates with the true yearnings of our hearts and releasing the insatiable hunger for more. The contentment blossoms in the present moment, where the essence of life reveals itself in all its splendor. Contemplate the serene majesty of a clear, star-strewn night sky. Despite its apparent complexity, the beauty lies in its simplicity. Each twinkling star radiates with clarity, while the tranquil stillness of the night brings profound peace to the soul. So as we traverse the winding paths of existence, let us heed the wisdom of simplicity, embrace that which brings genuine joy and peace, and release the burdens that weigh heavy on our journey. In simplicity, we unearth the essence of a life imbued with meaning and harmony, where the soul finds solace amidst the tumultuous currents of existence. Principle 6. Embrace Humility Buddha once imparted profound wisdom, stating that true wisdom does not reside in incessant chatter, but rather in the serene presence of peace, love, and fearlessness. This timeless lesson underscores the intrinsic value of humility, the virtue of modesty, and an unassuming demeanor despite possessing profound insight or achievements. Humility, in essence, transcends the need for grandiloquent speech or ostentatious displays of knowledge. It is a quiet strength that emanates from within, characterized by actions imbued with peace, love, and fearlessness. When one embodies humility, one becomes a beacon of wisdom, not through eloquence, but through their capacity to foster genuine connections and understanding. Imagine a wise individual not for their verbosity, but for their ability to exude inner tranquility, to approach others with empathy and compassion, and to confront challenges with unwavering courage. Humility dismantles the barriers of ego, allowing for a deeper appreciation of the interconnectedness of all beings. In the practice of humility, one cultivates the art of active listening and a willingness to learn from others. It is through this receptive stance that true understanding blossoms, eradicating the divisive forces of arrogance and pride. Humility, therefore, becomes the conduit through which empathy and compassion flow freely. In embracing humility, we not only attain wisdom but also become guiding lights for those around us. Let us remember that wisdom is not measured by the volume of our words but by the depth of our humility. It is through humility that we gain profound insights into the nature of existence and extend compassion to all sentient beings. Continuing on the path of wisdom, it is essential to recognize that humility is the cornerstone of true understanding and compassion. 
By humbly acknowledging our limitations and embracing the interconnectedness of all life, we open ourselves to a deeper comprehension of the world around us. In practicing humility, we create an environment conducive to empathy and genuine connection. Rather than seeking to dominate conversations with our own opinions and accomplishments, we listen attentively to the perspectives of others, valuing their insights as much as our own. This act of humility fosters mutual respect and encourages collaboration, leading to greater harmony and understanding within our communities. Moreover, humility empowers us to confront adversity with grace and resilience. Instead of allowing our egos to dictate our responses to challenges, we approach them with a sense of fearlessness and inner strength. This Principle 7. Be mindful of the risks associated with wealth. As Buddha so wisely shared, health is indeed the greatest gift, contentment the truest wealth, and faithfulness the foundation of the finest relationships. These timeless words serve as guiding beacons, urging us to seek fulfillment beyond the ephemeral allure of material possessions. In our relentless pursuit of success and fortune, we often lose sight of the fleeting nature of material wealth. The cars we drive, the houses we inhabit, and the luxuries we indulge in are transient, subject to the whims of change and decay. While these external comforts may offer fleeting joy, they pale in comparison to the enduring richness of contentment. True wealth, as Buddha espouses, resides in the ability to find peace and satisfaction in the present moment. It is the profound appreciation of life's simple pleasures, the warmth of a smile, the shared intimacy of a meal, the tranquility of a stroll in nature that truly enriches our existence. Moreover, Buddha's teachings remind us that the most precious treasures are the relationships we cultivate. Genuine connections grounded in faithfulness form the bedrock of a fulfilling life. In the embrace of loved ones, we discover unwavering support, boundless joy, and a profound sense of belonging that transcends material possessions. As we navigate the labyrinthine paths of life, let us remain vigilant against the perils of excessive attachment to wealth and possessions. Instead, let us cherish our health, cultivate contentment in our hearts, and nurture faithful relationships. In doing so, we unlock the gates to a more profound and enduring form of wealth, one that leads to lasting happiness and inner peace. In concluding our exploration, we reflect on the timeless wisdom encapsulated in the principles we've discussed. Principle 1. Listening more, speaking less. We embrace the profound art of listening. It's not merely about hearing words, but about grasping their essence. By prioritizing listening over speaking, we forge genuine connections and deepen our understanding of the human experience. Principle 2. Independence from external influences. Let us remember that our life's path is ours alone to navigate. Just as we wouldn't surrender control of our journey to another, we mustn't allow external opinions to dictate our course. By listening to our inner compass and embracing our true selves, we chart a course that resonates authentically with us. Principle 3. Readiness to accept adversity. Life's journey is akin to a meandering river with tranquil moments and tumultuous challenges. Embracing the worst with acceptance and resilience shields us from unnecessary suffering and fosters inner peace, even amidst adversity. Principle 4. Embrace failure as a path to advancement. Failure is not a setback, but a stepping stone toward growth and enlightenment. By confronting failure head-on, we unveil our potential for transformation and emerge stronger and wiser. Principle 5. Embracing Simplicity In the pursuit of inner peace and clarity, simplicity reigns supreme. By shedding unnecessary complexities and distractions, we prioritize what truly matters and find contentment in life's simple pleasures. Principle 6. Cultivating Humility True wisdom is not measured by words but by the depth of humility. By embodying peace, love, and fearlessness, we become beacons of inspiration and compassion for others, enriching our shared journey through life. Principle 7. Mindfulness of Wealth's Risks In our pursuit of wealth, let us not overlook the transient nature of material possessions. True wealth lies in cultivating contentment and fostering genuine connections, leading us to enduring happiness and inner peace. 
If you enjoy this video, type peace into the comment section.